fun. It's yeah. fun. It's not that fun. Yeah. It's a nerve wracking panel, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. A lot of people. Well, since there is a one-year jump, what can you kind of tease about where your characters will pick up when the season starts from what they've told you so far? Right. We're in a relationship. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Mike's gone. He's a baddie. Uh, Mike. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, okay, so I think this year, yes, we're, we're a year ahead. Mike and Max are very much still uh, a couple that are together. Um, Mike, however, has been away for about four months, so when we start back into this new uh, first episode, we're going to have Mike coming back to see Mike, uh, Max, and uh, and there's going to be, there's some really, really big things that are going to happen between the two of them as far as their relationship this year. Uh, one of them is going to be devastating, and I know that for sure. The other is going to be, hopefully, it's going to play out. I, don't, I can't obviously give details and stuff, but it would play out in a beautiful way, I think, if we were able to, to kind of end the season the way that they want to for these characters. So, as of now, uh, there is a lot of disaster, <laughs> devastation that's coming for the two of them. And yeah, in, in regards to Mark, he is, he's been a year later after his, the death of his brother, he's been through an incredible, uh, you know, emotional, uh, you know, all the grief and all that. He's in a very, very um, different place emotionally and environmentally as well, like in kind of where he is in the world. So we meet him at the point of him kind of... Uh, Emerging from that, you know, all the all the emotional disaster over the last year, which would be, and then we're going to play over the course of the season to see like what led up to that, and um, you know what he spent his last year doing. So um, it'll be it'll be challenging in a really rich and rewarding way. And uh, they said during the panel that Mark is going to be hiding in plain sight. Can you elaborate elaborate a little bit more on what he's been? I, without, without giving giving anything away, uh, no, not really. It's um, <laughs> yeah. I, I really can't. It just they're putting him in a place in the first very first episode where if someone was like if someone was trying to you know someone like Mark who's a pretty hunted you know kind of kind of on the top of the list you know for the FBI to track down, you you wouldn't want to you know he wouldn't want to be caught dead there. So, um, I think, again, challenge for the writers, challenge for myself to, you know, kind of pull that off, but playing that out over the course of the season and seeing, you know, what, what his character does with that is going to be really, really fascinating. No, I can't tell you anything, basically. <laughs> Will Mark be holding any grudges still a year later, and what would those be? Oh, sure. <laughs> like, who is he there. blaming for what happens a year later? I know the very end of last last season he kind of had this idea with Luke that Luke got killed that you know you know he got a, what, that alternate ending actually where he killed Joe Carroll he was like he said you know he turns to him and says I got one of the you know I got you know that's one of them there's still more to go um that was one of the lines so he definitely kind of sees everyone as a target anyone who's not me is pretty much a target <laughs> Ryan Max Max and Mike definitely you know killed Lily Mike killed Lily Max killed Luke uh, I think that Ryan is just kind of the, the breeder of that, all that, so you know I'll take him out too. I think he holds grudges against all those people, and I can imagine clearing his you know, kind of idea of making up for you know, the loss of his family would be striking these these guys off the list. Last question: Where is Max going to fit into the new uh, threat on New York? Uh, how she's gonna fit into the new threat? Um, well, she's it's it's gonna be tough because she is Ryan and and Mike at some point will uh, sort of be be put to a test, okay? And Max is gonna be the one that is in between the two of them. You know, she is the one that's um, also trying to figure out the psychological um, killer who's out. But she's trying to profile him with these guys. But I think uh, for her, it's. It's going to be a tough one because she is going to be trying to juggle so many, so many things while also keeping her job and while you know hopefully getting to kick some butt, you know. Um, but, but uh, you know, is she going to be directly hunted? Is she going to be captured or anything like that? I don't think that this season is going to be necessarily about that. I think it is about this ominous sort of force that is coming from one you know specific force. But uh, but that being set over New York and us kind of good guys or whatever sort of running. 
um, around within it trying to figure it out. Uh, it's, it's not going to be like a direct, as far as I know so far. You know, um, but, Rather than many serial killers and we see them already and we know who they are, right. we're going to like not know, getting back to the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but slowly piecing it together. Like, I don't know if we actually said this in any of the panels, um, but I, I was talking to the writers and they said that it is going to be about finding um, things that were in the first season or maybe things that were in the second season that you didn't see connect, that actually did connect, that now play out in the third season. That's my, that's my favorite kind of show, you know, that like really means something in the end. It like actually plays out. So.